Celebrating Women's Christmas on January 6th has been a tradition for generations in the southwest. The men were expected to take over in the kitchen that day, giving the women a chance to spend time together and celebrate. In Cork, members of a cancer support group say they experience the spirit of Women's Christmas every day. Two years ago, Anne Dowley Spillane set up the Girls Club. She herself had been treated for cancer and she saw the need for a support network for women who had been on the same journey and for their families and friends. I wanted a centre that we'd empower women, not empower them to, you know, to take over the world or anything like this, but to give their power back because cancer strips you of an awful lot of things. And again, the unity, you know, that is between the women here. Um, it's basically just putting your hand out and putting someone else on the train and saying, listen, we can do this journey together. The first club meetings were held in hotels, but in February 2012, the club opened its own premises in Cork City Centre. Since then, patrons have access to free therapy and counselling sessions, cookery, makeup and gardening demonstrations, and also to a network of strong and vibrant women. It makes a big difference to me because it's changed my life completely. Since I was diagnosed with cancer and when I found out the Girls Club was available, it was like coming from home to home for me. And I met so many people since I've been in here. You can come in and be sad when someone is there if you want to talk, if you don't want to talk. It's just everything, the whole place, just the whole atmosphere of the building and the people. and It just makes it very easy and it's relaxing. When I go home, I'm not upset or... I can go home to the kids and know that you know, I'm relaxed and there's no drama. The Girls Club receives no state funding and yet it provides up to 60 hours a week of free therapy for women from Cork and surrounding areas. The solidarity here is palpable and the door is always open. Greta O'Connor, RTE News, Cork.